Is that the only ones we've got? I guess I'm going to have to teleport to a different city. Hmm. Nice to Marseille. Have I done that one? No, I've not done Nice to Marseille. Let's take that one. I'll write that one down. Oh, is it Rome? Does it override that now? Ah, I didn't know. Interesting. Right, okay, so fuel is a big issue. But if I pick this up, I can just nip for some fuel, can't I? That's not so bad. Uh, JV. Be just because, ho, 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 all to the best. <laughs> 2018. JV, thank you. I didn't know they could override those sounds in the game with sound fixes. I thought they just changed it in the game. Devil Dude, 19 months. Hope your 2017 was good. Uh, hope you're gonna stream new games in 2018. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting some flight semi done in 2018. Lots to do on the flight sim world now. It's a job over 240Ks. Do you know what? I didn't actually notice, Connor. I didn't actually notice. Um, it's not listed now, is it? Two forty-five. It's on the cusp. It's on the cusp. So it counts, doesn't it? <laughs> I forgot about that minimum. Sounds a lot better than the clunk clicks. I completely agree. I've always hated the clunk. I'm going to get fuel when we get the trailer. We've got 110 litres, we're fine. Uh, you're off, trucker Chris. Happy New Year to you and yours. There aren't any gift delivery jobs under 240. Yeah, but everybody goes to the short ones, don't they? This is what I was saying on the last stream. I think they did it slightly wrong. You should get a point for every 100Ks of delivered. And then just make it so many points that you have to get, rather than so many jobs, because and then have such massive variation in the jobs. It doesn't make any sense. Because there's no appeal in taking a 1400K job when a 240K one is going to count exactly the same. So they need to give you an incentive to take the longer job. Um, who was that? Camcord? 1328. Welcome to Nows Camcord. Can we give Camcord a nutty welcome? Let's go that way. So we're going to come out here. Uh, let's see. We're going to take a right out of here. Then we're going to go all the way down there and do a loop. Sounds good to me. What kind of shifter, Bob? Well, I use my G27 shifter with uh, an SKRS on top to get the split, split shifts, split and range. Oh, that's a bit close. Nope, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Let's back that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bring the trailer over this side a bit more. Boxes are fine, don't worry. Been silently watching for a long time now, decided to become part of the family camcord. Welcome. Oh boy. 
Even that, even that is close. Jeff's not impressed. Jeff doesn't care. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> He's like a puppet without strings. Well, yeah, you say it's the wrong way, but getting out the other way would have been fun as well, wouldn't it? already waypointed for fuel. It's just a matter of getting there. Welcome back. The Sims is really addictive, JV. Have you started playing it? Have you still got your pet spider called Jeff? I did see him. I think I have got him because he's got cobwebs on the light. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Benjamin Stubbs, thank you for four months resume. B Saber, seven months. Hello, Paul. I uh, really enjoyed the Sims 4 streams. Hope to see more in 2018. Happy New Year to you and the entire Nut House, and to you. You got back into The Sims. <laughs> the only thing I'm not happy with at the moment in The Sims is the um, the detective DLC. I'm not happy with it at all. The, the two detective missions that I did with Mila were rubbish. Like the first one, just about got through. The second one, walking around that, trying to issue a citation, never saw a single person to issue a citation to, which I don't get. I just thought that was a bit pants. Like the, the medical one, I'm really enjoying, but not the detective one. Walking around in a room as well, scanning the floor and picking up shoes and things. It's like, eh? Oh, you scumbag lights. Your nine-year-old daughter recreated your entire family in The Sims 4. <laughs> it's all gravy. Um, Merry Christmas, Squirrel, Mrs. Squirrel, Lord Doyle, and Squirrel and all the Squirrel Nutters. Thank you very much, it's all gravy. Merry Christmas to you. Scientist career is really good. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking about changing Mila. I don't know whether to give up on it. I'll probably give it a couple more goes. And then if it turns out to be just carrying on being rubbish, I might change her uh, career. I presume you get the gift rewards when it finishes. I don't know. Or maybe when they go back to work on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Dumus Maximus, thank you for six months. Happy New Year to you and the Nutters and to you. Ah, the fuel station. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Ooh, that was close. I realised at the very last second that I was going to go in the wrong way. Like, hink! Oh, do you have to get the rewards on World of Trucks? Is that what you have to do, large one? Power of purple! Ten months before the new year. What's in the large boxes? I don't know. Schmackos? Wait, is somebody tooting the horn at me?
The boom's not working. What, is it dead? Is it not working or did you just not hit it with enough booms? Wasn't it enough booms? There you go. It's probably fine. Kenji. Kenji? 24 months. Thank you, Kenji. Enjoy the Golden Acorn. We had 10 booms. Well, it won't activate on 10. How long is it to yachts for? Well, there's a command that tells you. It's something like exclamation mark days until, something like that. And it's in there. Uh, Anthony B1521, welcome to Nows Anthony. Thank you very much for your support. Can we give Anthony a nutty welcome, guys? You built your own SKRS. How did you, um, I mean, I know you can get the switches, but how did you model the whole handle and stuff? Fifty-one weeks till Christmas. Woo! <laughs> that's that's where I want it to be. A long way away. <laughs> uh, all right, PC noob. We've got a lot of things to get through before next Christmas. Spring, Easter. Pancake Tuesday. Yachts. Plenty of birthdays. Summer. All kinds of stuff. Insomnia, yeah, Insomnia, Truck Fest, Flight SimCon, all the events. An entire year, in fact, before we get back to Christmas. Used a PS3 controller combined with the early 90s Vol F2 shifter. Fair enough. <laughs> How much do the tickets cost to go to the events? Well, they're all different, aren't they? Depends which event you want to go to. To be honest, the, the, the ticket price is um, usually, you know, compared to the travel costs, the ticket price is usually quite low. Because a lot of places that you end up going to, you know, perhaps you'll, you might have to fly there or drive there or train it there, then you've got a hotel maybe, you know, food and drink when you're there. It, again, stacked against the ticket price is often quite a lot. Have us a boar. Hello, how you doing? Um, I stopped by for show one. Thank you for your continued support of my game. So many people are here on the last day of the year. It's crazy. All the best in 2018 to you and everybody on the stream. Pavel on SCS. Uh, Pavel, it's been a wonderful year all round. Thank you for um, continuing to support this game and American Truck Sim. And I hope you and the guys at SCS all have a wonderful New Year's Eve celebration, whatever you're doing. And, uh, I'll see you all in 2018. Thanks for popping in. Can we get some love in chat for Pavel Sabor and the SCS guys? That would be nice. Come on.
Uh, Lewis Bass in Dale. Thank you very much for the 500 bits, Lewis. Oh yeah, Lotus. It, <laughs> Lotex, it can fly quite a bit. It's weird, sometimes I'll play a game and people will come into chat and it'll be like, chat's a bit quiet. <laughs> Another time it's like, oh my god, the chat's going so quick I can't read anything. <laughs> Oh, hello. Weather's kicking off. Welcome back. I'm on a cheeky photo somewhere. Uh, hunky Funky Chunky Monkey, thank you for the resume. I still like your name. It's long, but I like the name. Well, this is some nice weather. Uh, Blue Man, there's ways, there's ways of asking people to do things, and that's not one of them. It's been a wonderful year, Benjamin. It has. A little bit roller coastery for me, but mostly up. Does the winter mod cause worse than large one? So the winter mod, well, it's called a frosty weather mod, technically. Comes with three different mods that you can use. One of them does this. The second one makes the snow on the ground over there thick, so you can't see the grass. And the third one changes the physics. I've not used the physics mod. Let's see if we can get a nice shot here. You miss celebratory bunting. That, that is a lot like my car. In fact, I'm pretty certain. ML63, mine's an ML350. That, that is my car, actually, near enough. Mine's an ML350, that's what my car looks like. It has the silver plate down there and stuff. Yeah. So mine's like a, a grey colour. But yeah, that's what my car looks like. Lol. And it's right next to my truck. <laughs> the irony. Uh, would we be better looking this way or that way? Let's go this way. Let's get a nice winter scene. I want to get some reflection in there. You've got two more gift deliveries to do than you're done. Nice. Have you done the ATS ones as well? Hey, Waka Day, how you doing? <laughs> Mrs. Squirrel's raising me. <laughs> no doubt she'll win. It kind of feels like the vehicles have slowed down for the weather. Because the speed limit down here is 90, and the cars are doing 60. When did I get it? Um, set. No, hang on. October last year? September last year? Something around that mark. Yeah, not bad. Whack a day, thank you. Still rocking that driving rig. Did they still make the M class? I, th I think they call it the G class now. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I know we're going slow. What is going on? The ML is now the GLC. I don't know why they renamed it all. All right, Camcord. See you next time. Have a good new year. You're supposed to say see you next year, not see you next stream. See you next year. <laughs> it's the only day of the year when you can say that. You remember when you had the Toyota? 
Oh, well, Mrs. Squirrel's got the Toyota. She's got the Yaris. I gave that to her. Actually, the three-year contract is up on that. I do, I do PCP on my cars. So, she's got the Yaris, but it's... Here's the thing, right? We got that car almost three years ago now. It's due in about April, May for three years. And at the end of the three years, with a personal contract plan, you have to either hand the car back um, or you can trade it up for something else. Um, doesn't have to be the same car. Doesn't even have to be the same garage. Or you can um, pay off the balance. You've got the three options. And I don't know what to do because normally, like, we've, we've traded it up for a new Yaris. But this year, I'm not sure because... The prices of the Yaris's have gone up. I think some of it's due to Brexit, probably. You know, the currency fluctuations and stuff. But now, to get the same car in that spec is like something crazy, like £19,500. And it doesn't even come with a sat-nav. That's a £650 option. So to spec her car out now is going to be over 20 k Or I could pay 7 k and keep that car. So now I'm thinking, what do I do? <laughs> it's like, she really likes the Yaris hybrid, that's the thing. It's just ridiculous. And also, yeah, you have to pay road tax on the uh, hybrids now. Oh, this is great. This is, look, am I supposed to get off here? Thanks for letting me in. Thank you very much, AI, for letting me in. So, yeah, um, on her hybrid, there's no road tax, whereas on the new ones, there is. Because they're now tax hybrid. I don't really appreciate that comment though, Gav Jam. No wonder you have to put out adverts on YouTube with a Benz drive. I don't really appreciate that at all. When you, are you referring to my latest Asus video, by any chance? Which is a sponsored video from my main sponsor. Like... The reason that I have a mortgage to pay, and the reason that I can do all this, is because of people like you, right? That's, you know, but the fact that I drive a Merc doesn't mean that, like, I'm rich or anything. Like, I pay monthly for that Merc. And I don't put out adverts, I put out sponsored videos that, that basically showcase products from my sponsor. And I do that to pay the bills. So, you know, if you look at what's happening on YouTube, people's videos being demonetized, People's videos are being flagged as inappropriate for advertisers. You know, it's a bit of a mess, YouTube, at the moment. And a lot of people are doing other things like Twitch in order to keep paying the bills. And, you know, I've got, like, one nice car in my... Like, this. literally the only things I have... I live in a semi-detached house, which is, like... Some, some YouTubers live in mansions. I live in a semi-detached house. I drive a Mercedes SUV which is probably the nicest thing I own, and I have a couple of computers, and that is more or less it. <laughs> like, apart from that, all my money goes into running my family. I don't have a yacht. I don't go on expensive holidays. I'm, I'm, not, exactly, I'm not exactly living it up, am I? You know? So I don't really appreciate the comment, to be honest, Gav Jam. So I think it's a bit unfounded and a bit unfair. But, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, I guess. Summy... Uh, right then, Mr. Squirrel. What a 2017 has been. Some fantastic experiences, memories and losses, indeed. As you know, I am not around to see New Year with you guys. Here's to 2018 with the mods. Uh, admins forward. <laughs> Thank you very much, Summy. Thank you for your support through the year, and I shall see you in 2018. A stream from a shed. Converted garage is not far off a shed. Rob Jansen, how are you doing? Best wishes to you. Well, Funky Spaniel, I try to put effort into all my videos, including my sponsored ones, you know? I don't just throw them together. They, they take a lot of effort. You're talking, like, multiple lights, cameras, lots of editing. You know, there's a lot to it. You try making one, it's not easy. Quirt Russell, thank you for all the fun. Thank you for the support, Quirt Russell. Appreciate that, sir. Thank you. You have an Asus 3D monitor. Nice. And a Peugeot 508 saloon. <laughs> I've never owned a Peugeot. <laughs> I've got to keep going, schmackos, lol. <coughs> G2 
you know what? Even if I could afford a Rolls Royce or a Bentley, I wouldn't buy one. I don't even like them. Like, I think Rolls Royce is a fantastic brand, but it's not my style of car, you know? I don't, I don't like that kind of super luxury, wallowy car. I like a car that kind of, I don't know, you feel connected with somehow. It doesn't just feel like you're in bed cruising down the highway, which is what a Rolls Royce does for you. Thank you, Audi. Uh, do you actually get paid for a video? Or much, or how much does a video get sent in Lotex? No, no, the way it works, Lotex, I'm not hiding anything. The way it works is quite simple. So Asus are a sponsor, right? Now every sponsor, every sponsor is looking for a couple of things usually. They, they want to raise their brand awareness, right? So when, when a company sponsors somebody, there's an association there. There's an association with you and your brand and with that company and their brand. So Asus basically put their name onto my stream and to my YouTube channel. So they associate themselves with me and I associate myself with Asus. So it's reciprocal, yeah? They're a nice brand, I'm a nice brand. It works for both of us. So there's brand awareness, yeah? They will promote me, I will promote them. So that's what it's for. Equally, they will help me to stay like financially it'll help me to stay doing what I'm doing. That's part of a sponsorship deal. But they'll also expect me to do things like turn up to Insomnia, do some streams, promote their brands, be at the booth, you know, all that kind of thing. That's what they expect in return. As part of the deal, I will do a video every quarter. So I showcase a product every quarter. This quarter, it was that monitor. Yeah, they just brought it out in November and they wanted a nice video to go out with it. That's what I did. So I basically took that monitor and put it in a setting of simulation and said, well, what does that monitor do for people like us who like to play simulator games? That's what I did. So that's how it works. So I keep, you know, them happy with things like that and they keep me doing this. It works both ways. <clears throat> does that explain it? Uh, Lord Fifth. Happy New Year, Squirrel and Nutters. Hope you all have a great 2018. Thank you, Lord Fifth. Thank you for the bits. Do I like Teslas? <laughs> I've never owned one. I think they look incredibly good, though. I'd fancy one, but not for that money. Uh, do you get to keep the monitor after send it back? It varies, Epic Gamer. Um, sometimes, sometimes they'll want it back. Sometimes they'll just say keep it. In the case of that monitor, they're saying you can keep that one. But I, you know, here's the, here's the kicker. If you keep, get this right. If you keep a monitor, if you, well, if I if they send me something and I keep it, I basically have to declare it for tax. <laughs> it's, so I then have to pay tax on it, which is really annoying. So I don't keep everything for that reason, you know. <laughs> Why is this guy going so slowly? I mean, I'm pretty certain there's a lot of people out there that are not declaring vids as sponsored, not being very transparent, not declaring it to the tax man, etc, etc. But I try to play by the rules, and that's just me. Would I accept a sponsorship from Renault? Do you mean Renault cars or Renault trucks? Uh, do you just pay the tax? I mean, the tax is 100 quid on that monitor. It de no, it depends, Nitel. It, it, it literally depends what level of tax you're already paying because it depends what tax band you're in. Like, something like that can bump you over a tax band. One second, where are we going here? We're going in here. Oh, there it is. It's down the road. Oh, large one, if you hide stuff from the tax man. Like, I knew somebody that owed a lot of money in tax and they just ran away to New Zealand. <laughs> so, you know. They realised that 10 years was about to catch up on them. Because they'd not been doing things properly. They'd not been keeping the books properly. And I had. He was an IT contractor. 
and he, he would have potentially owed about 100 grand in tax plus the plus they'll charge you on top of interest oh yeah they can throw you in jail for that a sponsorship from Scania I guess I don't know if they'd want to sponsor me though you know what would be in it for them would I accept sponsorship from Renault Trucks I don't think it would make any sense Jay Cooks would it I don't think it'd make any sense at all for them or me so the answer would probably be no Partnership with SCS Software? What kind of partnership? Again, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make any sense to partner with SCS. Like, the relationship I have with SCS works for me and works for them. Because, like, they understand. I, you know, I play their games, but I also criticize their games. Yeah? So. A partnership wouldn't make any sense because I need to stay independent of them. Otherwise, I would I would effectively just be a shill, wouldn't I, at that point? Uh, BCS Paul, I would love to have that monitor, but the price of it in Denmark is 11,000 11, watt. Thanks, that's expensive, my wallet. Um, 11,000 watt, it can't be pounds, it must be something else. Just trading places, wackaday, absolutely. <laughs> RJ4Y1 Thank you Paul for another great year You bring light to me and many others Here's to another fantastic squirrel filled year <laughs> Thank you Arj uh, Do you have to pay any tax once you're an affiliate to Twitch? Mikey Mikey The way I, I can only really speak for the UK tax system You know Every country may be different But I would have thought they would work the same way But if you receive any income from any source, potentially you're going to have to pay tax on it. Now, if your dad gives you 100 quid, you're not going to pay tax on that. If your dad gives you five grand, you need to start thinking about it because there's a certain limit where you can't gift, you can't gift somebody money over a certain limit. But certainly if a company gives you money, like Twitch, yes. That is going to have to be declared to, t to the taxman as another source of taxable income. So whether you're an affiliate or a partner or not, it's still a professional income and has to be declared. And every country is different on the limits. Right, G, set time, let's make it morning. Let's have a look at the job list. Uh, 1300 quid. Wow, why is it so much? Um, what the heck? Why are there no jobs here? What's with all the boat jobs? <laughs> I don't know what it is, Hendo. I don't know what the limits are. See, I have an accountant because, quite frankly, I can't stand doing accounts. <laughs> And I just don't have the time to do it all and make sure that I'm staying within the law. So I pay an accountant to do that. And I let him worry about the limits, which change every year. That's the other thing. Mrs. Frosty. Hello, Paul from me. Mr. Frosty would like to wish you and your family a happy new year. Once again, also like to thank yourself, Muttley Mad Mick Summy, for letting me be part of the team. Look forward to supporting you in 2018. Thank you, Mrs. Frosty. I hope you and Mr. Frosty have a great one. Uh... Alec, thank you for the resume. Will Pipes, thank you for three years. Enjoy your golden acorn once more. Can't give you a new one, yeah? Because Twitch. Uh, Lord Fifth, we did. Uh, Quirt Russell. Thank you for all the fun we did. Lord Fifth, Hunley Monster. Somebody's saying I missed those, but I can't see what I missed. Pair of purple, 10 months. 10 months before the new year. Cheers, what's in the large boxes? Dumbest, we did. Be Sabre seven months. I can't see what I missed. 
Welcome back. The monitor is seven nine at scan. Are they actually selling it now? Because when I looked on Amazon, um, they weren't in stock. They've only just come out. The difference between the freight markets and the external contracts. Essentially, the freight market is generated locally on your machine, and it's built out of mods that you might have as well. The external contract only uses the default game trailers and is linked to the um, back-end servers. Too big, too big. Even that's too big. So these are basically online contracts, and they record against your World of Trucks profile. 